For years, I tried using a simple square to guide my handheld circular saw to make square cuts when chopping up boards. It didn't stay put very well, and we always had to figure out the offset between the edge of the plate and the blade. All too often, the cut wasn't exactly where I wanted, or wasn't as square as it could be. And then Craig came along with this square cut, and for 16 bucks, all those problems went away. This adjustable guide arm is one of the things that makes this jig work so well, and work with so many different tools. Before we can set up this tool for use, we have to go through the extensive assembly procedure, and that involves putting these little foam dots in these round recesses on the back of it. There is 12 of them, so some of us might have to set aside some time for this. As soon as you start using this tool, you'll come to appreciate all those little rubber dots. Those little rubber dots give this tool a lot of grip on the wood and keep it from sliding around. And that stability makes it more accurate, but it also makes it safer. All we really need to adjust to set this up is the guide arm. First we put the square cut on a board where we know the saw will take a full cut. Then with the saw against the square cut we make a full cut. Make sure you keep the square cut in place after you stop the saw. Now we loosen the screw and then slide the guide arm out until it's flush with the saw cut. Then you go back and tighten the screw up again and we're all done. That's all it takes to set this up for your saw. To test the setup, we make a cut line on the board, then carefully set the square cut in place, making sure that the end of the guide arm is aligned with your cut line. Now making sure that the saw stays against the square cut, go ahead and make your full cut. If you follow the directions correctly for setting that guide arm, you now have a cut that goes right down your layout line. You can see I actually split the layout line with this cut. Once you set the square cut up for your saw, it'll keep making cuts that accurately all day long. Craig always seems to find another use for all the tools they make, and these numbers are that second use for this tool. Using the back edge of the guide arm as a pivot, you swing the square cut out and align these numbers up to find out your roof pitch. You can also use this for laying out specific roof pitches. If you use a handheld circular saw or jigsaw for breaking down lumber, you need to look at the Craig square cut.